Hi, this is Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com and The Remarkable Stampers. In today's edition of My Digital Studio Monday, I wanted to talk to you about using SVG files with My Digital Studio. One of the things that I love about My Digital Studio is its compatibility with other programs. Whether you're using simply our downloads, our available images and um, things with other programs, or whether you're using other programs' um, components with My Digital Studio. SVG files um, are the type of files that within My Digital Studio are used for punches. In other systems, an SVG file is what is used for cutting out images. So you will see other um, types of machines and programs out there that use an SVG file to tell a certain machine how to cut out an image. And those images, again, in My Digital Studio translate to punches. What's really fun is that you can go into um, the internet and you can simply Google free SVG files. For example, I was looking for the outline of Louisiana. I was just there last week apartment shopping with my daughter Kristen and I want the shape of Louisiana to use on a scrapbook page. So I found a free shape of Louisiana and I simply downloaded it. And then what will happen is, oh, in one other place just to show you, so free SVG um, files on the internet by doing a simple Google or another favorite place that I have of looking for free um, SVG files is on Pinterest and so you can again Google SVG files or free SVG downloads. Um, you will find SVG files for shapes. You will find them also for patterns and templates. I recently found one for a cracker box so I could load that into my digital studio, fill it with the desired print and then just print that 8.5 by 11 out and then I had um, cracker um, the little cracker boxes to use for party favors and things like that. So once you download your image, for me, for example, I'm going to find my downloads in my program under Downloads. And so here, let's open this up, you're going to see the Louisiana and it's going to be the SVG file and that's what we're looking for. So now what we want to do to get that into my digital studio to be able to work with it is we're going to come over to Computer, your C drive, Program Files, and we're going to look for My Digital Studio. We're going to look for Components. And then for us, we're going to look for Punches. And what I did is I went ahead and created a file called Non Stampin' Up. Okay, because that's where I'm going to put the SVG files that are Non Stampin' Up images so that I can quickly identify them. To create a new file, you can simply right click on the word Punches. And you can come up here to um, New and folder and you'll create a new folder and label it whatever you would like it to be again for me I just called my non stampin up so now you're just going to left click and hold and I'm going to drag it over to the non SU file and drop it and it's going to go ahead and it's going to for me it's going to move and replace because I already have it loaded but I wanted you to see the steps so we're going to go ahead and move and replace because I don't need two of them and now let's go ahead and let's open up my digital studio we're going to go ahead and go to our punches. You can either go to your punches from your resource palette on the left. You can go to your punches again from the toolbar up here. Or we can even come over to our design center and we can go to our punches. Um, I usually prefer to go um, to the top. And so we'll just go here. Because I can actually search for punches if I want to. Well, let's just go ahead and look at the different images um, that I have loaded here. So here's a bag pattern that I loaded so I can fill it with Stampin' Up's great, awesome designer papers. Then I can print that out and I have a pattern that I can cut. Um, again, looking for different images. Here's a Disney image, cupcake wrapper. Again, some of them are going to be patterns or things like that. But now they're located within my digital studio and it's going to allow me to use them just as I would use a punch within my digital studio. And for some reason, it didn't apply it. Hold on just a second. Come down here to my Louisiana shape. Because you have to hit the word apply to apply it. And it will add it. And then again, anything that I can do to a punch within the My Digital Studio program. So now here I have this shape of Louisiana that I'm going to be able to use on my scrapbook layout that I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be able to fill it with color. So I can pick any color that I would like it to be. I'm going to be doing a lot of greens. Louisiana was a very, very green state. Lots and lots of water. Um, I would probably consider moving in a heartbeat. It was absolutely a beautiful place. 
And so I'm just going to go ahead and fill it with color. I can go ahead and fill it with my designer paper of choice. I can also matte it to create a layered look. So you've got that. Um, so I can fill it with any designer paper that I want to fill it with if I so choose. I can matte it so I can, again, create that layered look. I can add a drop shadow. I can mirror it so I can flip the image side to side, although with Louisiana, then that would make it look like I don't know my state very well. Um, you can rotate it. Of course, you can change the opacity of it so that you can create a shadow on the back. And the other fun thing about this is technically I could also just print the state of Louisiana on a piece of cardstock, freehand cut it or fussy cut it, depending on what term you like to use, and use it as an embellishment on a traditional scrapbook page without having to go to the store to buy one. So again, my digital studio is going to allow me to create beautiful digital art, but it's also going to give me the options of using not only Stampin' Up! components, but free components that are available on the internet to create um, traditional scrapbook embellishments by bringing them into a work surface on my digital studio, creating it in the color, the shape, whatever I want it to be, printing it on cardstock, freehand cutting it, and now adding it to my finished product, my card or my scrapbook page. So there you go. Very simple and easy template today for using the free SVG files that are available for other cutting systems as punches within my digital studio. Hopefully this adds a whole other dimension and ha hopefully it adds a whole lot more value to my digital studio for you. Have a great day. And God bless.